Streaming. Welcome back to the One, Mon one Punch Man Challenge. We're doing the One Punch Man Challenge again. Whoa. Deja vu. Right? Feels like we just did this. So, at the very end of that video that you just decided that you're too good to watch, um, I challenge anyone else to start doing the One Punch Man Challenge and beat get to 50 before us. So just so you know, potentially, there could be a race going on at some point that we don't really know about right now. No. So yeah, I mean, I, I will assume if nobody notifies me that there is no uh, competition going on and everyone else is like, I will never do this, you guys are dumb, you know, what are you doing? See, but hopefully, if they think we're dumb, they're still watching. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, you guys are idiots. That's why we like you. It's like, dude, watch this. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen these the, guys do. The funny thing is, if, if, if people think I'm totally just the dumbest person in the world, I'm totally okay with that. Like, I think the, the dumber you are, the more fun you have, quite frankly. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to say... Um, if you're the dumbest person for thinking of this challenge, I must be, like, <laughs> a little bit dumber than you for following along. <laughs> the fool and the fool of all of them. I was like, that sounds like a great idea. Right? <laughs> Worst idea ever. Did you pick up uh, any other, like, dual origin enhancements or anything on your character? chance no just the still training ones oh, okay uh not the train the ones that we got from the uh vendor pay to win vendor okay I gotcha got those slotted in my all bunch. right yeah so what you have slotted in your defense doesn't really matter i picked up oh, yeah, uh destroy the mako's bite because i was like yeah i'm totally putting a tunes on this dude for the next one and then it says cannot use until security level 27 and I'm like you know how long it's going to take me to get security level 27 on this tune I mean I'm just going to give him to another tune and uh, I'll unslot him and bring him back here if I get to 27 yeah I think you have to look at those things before you get them I think they say what uh, security level you could start thank, using thank you yes I'll look at them before I get them next time <laughs> it feels <laughs> Ryan remind me that I did something absolutely stupid. You know you could like read the descriptions of things and that tells you what they are. <laughs> right? I, I didn't want to say it like <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. It's totally true. It, the problem is how the text looks on them in my opinion, because it's like it's hard to follow all the stuff that's written on there. If you have uh, that thing where your eyes skip around whenever you try to read text, which is my issue, which is why, yeah. So it's like every time I'm trying to read all the text, it's like, all right, wait, my, my eyes are trying to jump to that letter or that letter. So I have to really, really focus, which is why I'm like, hey, you read the text. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Well, now that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to be... You know, like, I'm going to force you to like do the hard part or whatever. Or my <laughs> or no, but we had, I had done the voice on that one, like, twice in a row, and I really wanted, like, to hear what your impression then after that from so long ago would have ended up being, you know? Oh, well, if I would have done the one that you did, I, I probably could have done it fairly close, but I was okay. doing my own rendition. No, all right. It, again, we all remember how bad that was. Oh. The, uh, <laughs> well, the, the fact that... Was ran away. The boss himself just vanished. <laughs> oh, why? Like, that was awful. I quit. It's like, are you kidding? You know how many punches to the face I'm going to get before I die? I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's, yeah. That's scary just to think about because I've done that on my other guys and he was super hard using normal attack. Yeah. Yeah. See, for all we know, that could have ended the challenge, and that's why this happened. <laughs> the one the one boss could have made it so that I never make the video about the challenge. Yep. Man. Like, okay, this is too hard. Uh, we, we just described uh, another ultimate alternate dimension that was created. Basically. Oh, no. Yeah. The paradox. 
Yeah. Some solar sitting there going, you know, I'm not making this video. I, I'm, you know, I just quit streaming. I, I'm a moron. Why do I stream? Nobody cares. And then, you know, gone. Poof. See, but if you think about it in another dimension, you know, I own Amazon. Just <laughs> in another dimension. In another dimension, I bought like a crap ton of stock in Google for no reason, laughing about how it was just named Google and that was funny to me. And then, bam, I'm a millionaire. Nice. I yeah, like. We need to meet those different dimensions. I, I know, right? So, so I was thinking maybe there's another place we need to go somewhere and we missed it. Oh, I just thought of an awesome one. There's another dimension where you're not my best friend. You're my arch enemy. Dude, no. No. Oh. <laughs> and I want to know, okay, if this if this is something that's happened, uh, is it you who's the evil one or me in this in this scenario? You'll never know. Because when, like, there's an arch, arch, you know, sort of thing going on, usually one's, like, potentially morally better than the other in some fashion or we could leave it totally ambiguous no you know, and there really is no right like <laughs> like watchmen yeah that's true like watchmen or, or it's a i really like that movie i don't know why it's a purge world and when we fought and we fought to like an impasse it made us like our rivals because after purge is over we still knew each other so the whole n another year goes by with us just staring each other down, waiting for the next <laughs> purge day. <laughs> yeah, sadly, I don't even think I've seen one of those movies. I, you know, the only purge thing I've ever seen is Rick and Morty, the Rick and Morty episode. I feel behind the times because I, I, I have not watched that. Well, you know, the excuse that you have is none. Go watch it. What's wrong with you? It is true. <laughs> what streaming platform is that? The on? whole whole series is on Hulu. For who knows how long, because Cartoon Network will probably open up its whole thing, for, and a whole new thing for fifteen dollars a month. And everyone's like, everyone wants to give me fifteen dollars a month. It's like, no, I don't want to give nineteen thousand yeah. things fifteen dollars a month. Stop it. I'm I'm not looking forward to that um, Disney streaming service, and I say that only because I'll probably want. It. Well, the first month free, and what I plan to do is because the entirety of The Simpsons is on there, I'm just gonna permanently stay awake every day for three months, <laughs> and that will make it easy for me to watch all The Simpsons for free, and then I can you know not continue the service, and it's just brilliant. All I have to do is not sleep for 30 days while my TV is currently on at all times, burning the midnight oil and costing electricity. That sounds like a smart plan. Yeah. Well, where I live, actually, electric bills and such are actually cheaper than other places. Lucky you. Oh, yes. There's one bonus. Woo! I also. gotta love <laughs> Florida where you have to run your AC almost continuous. Oh, you do that here too. Like, if you're not running that, then it gets really cold for a couple months and you actually potentially can snow. So it's like insanely hot in the summer. And then potentially there's a, there's a chance, well, parts of the state get snow for sure, but you never know when there's like a chance where randomly you're going to get a couple inches for no reason. Yeah, I'll take seasons, even if it is dramatic, like heat to snow. <laughs> Florida makes you miss over seasons, just man. Constant heat. <laughs> Florida makes you miss seasons. It's true. Yes. I, I when I lived there, I looked so forward to that like week in you know February, where all of a sudden it's just like a day that's sixty degrees, and <laughs> it just feels like you know it's winter is here and you actually see people in like coats too like that's the amazing like, part yeah because uh ooh, you heard that what's that thunder oh okay i'm like did someone just fall off a bed <laughs> no thunder totally thunder right i i'm and I'm, once again my day is like it's oh, nice. so nice out there you know oh no yeah get the gourd ward so yeah my my day out there is like it's super nice it's you know 92 degrees feels like 100 degrees that going on you know 
There's lots of people in the pool outside. I'm in here doing the One Punch Man challenge like a complete and utter idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's the dumbest thing you could be doing? Uh, someone named Miss Tree sent me a, a message asking if if uh, I could join her, and I, I was like, I'm like. I can't do it. I'm on the One Punch Man challenge. How, what do I like? I'm like, do I ask? Are you on the One Punch Man challenge? Is that the reason that you're contacting me? <laughs> or do I just I be like, no, it's cool. I can't at the moment. Sorry. Response: One Punch Man challenge? Question <laughs> mark. Right. <laughs> like, and I am the idiot. Where's the other box? <laughs> check yes and no there's only a check yes yes the other <laughs> box will be in the next room it has to be i mean <laughs> this is a very small map for the for a mission unless you get one of those rooms that it's just like hey look there's a door on the end of the wall hooray and it leads to another map that's four times as big yeah <laughs> yeah so Mario Maker 2 came out today. Oh, it did. I went and picked it up with my son, who was just insanely excited. He wanted me to buy him that Mario hat that they have that's like the big, you know. <laughs> and he, then he's like, you know what we're going to do is for Halloween, we're going to dress as Mario and Luigi, and Mommy can be the princess. Nice. I'm like, man, this kid's like super into Mario. And then literally we got home about noonish, and we were playing Mario till about 2. And, uh, yeah, he's just been, like, he basically just watches me play, but I keep forcing him to play a level now and then. Like, if I play one that seems like it's pretty easy, I'll be like, hey, this one's for you. And, you know, he'll die, like, seven times before he's like, I just can't do this. I'm not as good as you. And it's like, well, yes, I'm, you know, I got 30 years more experience playing Mario. I'm sorry. Yeah, plus practice makes perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's what I tell him. He's like, okay. Will you make me a series of ten challenges, and I will play through those levels and get better at Mario? Yeah, this is what he nice. said to me. There it is. So yeah, I mean, he's like, he's asking me to make him levels. And he also says he really wants to make levels. He's really excited about that part of it. Which is funny. Has he tried it yet? Oh no, you know, it's not easy. I'm not gonna... I, we were just... I told him we had to... Um, unlock the stuff by playing the game, which is true. We get to play a story mode, and that unlocks the uh, like features of building worlds and such. So it's kind of like you got to play one thing to unlock the other. It's if like you're playing like a fighting game. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but the levels have been really interesting. I played through a lot of levels, and I actually had a lot of fun. Some of them, like the the four key ghost house. Oh my god, that thing was a complete and utter maze. And it had all these pipes, and each pipe was a challenge inside. And you needed to find four keys. So out of these, like, seven pipes, th four of them have keys and the other ones don't. But if you complete the other things, you get, like, extra coins and extra other stuff. But you don't know, like, ever if you're going into a room with a key if they entered or not, or if you're going to live through what's happening. Sheesh. And if you die, you start over and have to get the four keys all over again. You don't get, like, a middle sort of thing, like... You die, all keys <laughs> again. A, we a have flat patrol. Out you failed. We got try a pat again. patrol. Ah, crap. Yeah, it is flat out you failed. Try again. Like th This game is pretty brutal when it comes to its hardness. <laughs> Giggity. All right. So yeah, we got we to gotta limit our one punch man. Right now I've been going for 15 minutes and it's only been one mission. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm getting any 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 more levels from doing this right now. Let's let's play at least till we level again. How's that sound? Well, how close are you? Um, th three and a half bars towards my next level. So you still have like six and a half to go. Oh no, I I have three and a half to go. Oh okay. But yeah, I'm like, oh uh, you know that means we're getting a couple more or at least. Do you want to take these guys or run? Let's let's run. Uh, We're done in here. Sure. We should move on to something else. <laughs> Anything else? I'll take the uh, completion XP. Yeah. I'm going to see. Let's see if we can get. 
and just a completely different place to play right now. Alright, I know this contact. Great, I pushed the wrong button. Any new contacts that I can come into contact to that are not the three, like, so sick of these same contacts when I know there's like so many better contacts in there. Would you like to do the Midnight Squad quest line where we actually get the title Midnight Squad and then later actually in the Dark Astoria quest line, it's the Midnight Squad that's the heroes that are going against it and they're like, oh, you remember, it's so good you're here, like you get more text. Wait, the Midnight Squad? You mean that beginning group in Atlas? No, no, that's that's a different squad. That's not the Midnight Squad. Oh, good, because they suck. Yeah, no, this is the one where you go to Steel Canyon and you play through, like, stuff for the Rick T and a couple for the family and like, stuff like that. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Go into your contact and then find Montagu Castanella. Montagu Castellana. Ah, him, okay. And you teleport, tele teleport to contact. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do not trolls in caves. It's just... I mean, okay. First mission he gives you. Cave. First mission. You watch. No! You've done this, you've done this quest before. Oh, so many times. So many times. And it's always a cave. Always. But we're just the right level to like hang out here, just barely. All right, rescue the midnight, and he's super far away, of course. All right, council there, level thirteen, level eleven. Okay, we're good. Um, except when we get up there, there'll be more like fifteens and sixteens and stuff on the other side of the zone. Because I, I believe they hit like 20 by the end of that side of the zone. Just to like slowly play towards that, not hand you a mission in the very beginning that is like there. Oh, trust me. I remember when we actually had to play it yep. and slowly progress through the zone. Oh yeah. You right now I'm, I'm level 12. So I'd actually be running like this towards the mission right now. This would be my speed. Actually, this is way faster than my speed because we have the uh, built in, uh, fitness power pool but before you'd be running a lot slower than this and you would be just like why oh god it takes 10 minutes to get across the zone and you die a couple times because things in here are dangerous like there there's level 18 see there there's the cave Phew. yeah they're shooting at me but i'm lucky that i'm a tank in the cave in the cave something threw ice at me Yes, the freezer. So, I'm so glad we're not fighting trolls in caves anymore. Yeah, now it's probably Circle of Thorns. No, it's the Lost. What the duck? Yep, it's the Lost. We're fighting the Lost. We actually take out minions pretty well right now, as long as they're the same level as us. And I say that as, as like... We have to hit like six times, which is not a good thing at all, actually. But, you know. I read in between the lines of what you were saying, and I agree with you. We should up these to plus eight. Yeah. <laughs> I totally, that's what I was saying. We want as many people in here hitting on us as possible. Giggity. <laughs> right? Just bring paper and only, pencil. Only problem is. Obviously, if they're they're hitting on us we're gonna have a lot of fun though. almost all the enemy types don't have female enemies like there's like three that actually have female enemies yeah like knives of artemis knives of artemis <laughs> yeah no the um the carnival also oh yeah and true. then there was one in night ward that had females i forget which one that was though but it was in night ward fighting the worst enemies in the game because why would anyone want to fight enemies that you hit them and then they slowly become the enemy you want to fight and then you have to fight the enemy and you have to do that for every single enemy and there's 100 enemies and you're just like i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting yeah you know what's the only thing that sounds worse 
is the One Punch Man Challenge. Oh. <laughs> is it a good idea to say how uh, how bad we think this idea is and then want people to do it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is how things work. People actually like to hear negativity. That is true. It's, it's just how it is. And, you know, but that's the thing is, too, is it's like part of you feels that way. Part of you does because it's just awful what we're doing to ourselves. We have max level 50s that can, like, two shot minions and three shot lieutenants and two shot them on occasion. And <laughs> we're doing this. Yeah. Instead, we're sitting here with Brawl on auto. Yes, on auto, by the way. That's the important thing. Oh, another one of those guys. I hope we don't see more of them. I hate these things. They're horrible. They're just like not even a mouth on a thing without arms. And it's giant tongue. Alright, remember, we gotta watch out for energy mages. Right? They're the ones that blow up. Yeah. Look like they're taking a dump before they do. Yeah. There is, I think, three caves in this quest line, which is a lot of caves, but at least it's interesting, I guess. I mean, I didn't let anyone read the description. If you want to take a moment and read the description up in the mission thing, that'd be awesome. I see how you are. <laughs> That's exactly how I am. There's never been a mistake about it. You've known me for <laughs> that many years. Let's see. Percy Winkley is missing again. I feel like I've been doing this a lot recently, but he's worth two of any other Midnighter in our club. <clears throat> I need you to rescue Percy Winkley. Thank you for your assistance. He's been captured by the Circle of Thorns. They're questioning him, trying to get him to reveal the Midnighter's secrets. Find the Circle of Thorns Cave and rescue Percy Winkley. I just want to say, this guy over here was at half health when I came in. I'm guessing there's some lost around here that... Uh, yeah, they probably fought them that, and beat them. Or the lost ran away. And now we're waiting for one to come back with very little health. Hmm. I'm maybe thinking that the only, the only tank class that could, like, totally make this a different experience would be like playing a peace bringer in human form they just have some crazy secondary powers so i'm just like mm -hmm. yeah. i'm just thinking about like you know the type of the tank class itself and crap ah, there's jumps there i forget that sometimes it would be the extraterrestrial one punch challenge then. <laughs> yeah it would be we are no longer human, yet we are still one-punching. I mean, you'd still use Brawl, so you'd never actually turn into, your, like, your forms. But, you know what would happen? Quantum you, Gunners. Yes, and I don't think you could defeat them with Brawl. Thanks, dude. Before dying, probably not. Yeah, we need to save Perry, dude, and I think that he's probably down there, maybe? You think? <laughs> Probably, because I don't see him on the sides anywhere. Ah, uh, I fell down there. Man, I miss flying. There he is. There he is. Got lucky. Man, I'm so used to having a hover in every single mission that I'm playing. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Like you start hitting C on other or whatever you use to bind. Yeah. As you see. All right, we did another mission. We saved him. Look how look how heroic he looks. He's definitely worth two of every one of everyone else. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> right. This guy's worth two of everyone else. It's like the guy who can load his pipe correctly. <laughs> All right, don't he turn into a monkey. Well. Yeah, no monkey. All right, so because I probably can't... Oh, yeah, yes, I cannot call this guy back. We must run all the way across the zone once more. That, or <laughs> I can stand here while you do that. You, that's, that's, that's up to you. See, you're guessing now 
Where is this next mission going to be? That's the thing yeah, about this zone. Yeah, I was going to say, my luck, I would have to run across anyway, so I might as well go. With I think that the next mission is going to be, like, really close to the middle of the zone, a little bit under the AE building. That's where I think it's going to be. Take your All guess. Right. That's your theory. I'll, I'll hang out over there, though. Oh, okay. Go for it, then. I was gonna say you can you can take your own guess and decide. I think it maybe it'll be over here. I mean, I gotta run 600 yards still anyway, so go in and go. It's okay. In. You like the cardio? It's okay. I'm super into cardio. Or I used to be before my knee stopped working. Now I just stick to the martial arts. Uh, the arts of the martial. Yes. Unfortunately, no longer the aggressive side, because, like I said, my knee stopped working. All right, I'm finding this dude, and let's see. Here it is. All right, he's giving me the description. Now I must sort of read this. Thank you for rescuing Perry. He's already handed over information regarding the circle. They're attempting to divert the flow of all the power to only those who use magic causing all of their origins to weaken while magic users reach heights of ability, or new heights of ability. The circle is doing this as a means to combat the Rictees encroaching into their caverns. This definitely explains their presence in those caves. The Midnighter Squad has this information. I'll know shortly how they wish to proceed. Mission! He knows already! The Midnighters believe that Investigating Percy's information regarding the Lost and the Rictee's involvement with magic is now our primary concern. I don't know how Percy does it. <laughs> yeah, but that kid's good. <laughs> he really likes this dude. Wow. Are you interested in aiding us in this venture? I have to click on that, yes. The Midnighters, thank you for your assistance. Have you ever considered joining our fold? We're determined <laughs> that they are using the nearby abandoned office, but we know not for what purpose. Yeah, it's an office building. Hey, look, you're not that far from it. I mean, I'm not. Wait, you said it? I didn't set it. Sorry, I'll set it. There we go. Hey, you're, you're way closer than I am. You know, Yay. that was like a decent guess, like trying to say like, all right, I know the next one's like up over there. Yeah, I got uh, 0. 0.68 miles. Which, you know, it totally, you totally understand then how miles suddenly convert to yards because it makes just more sense than any other conversion to to switch from 0 0.05 <laughs> miles back to yards instantly. I know I love it. You're going to be there. Way, how far away from it are you? Uh, 164 yards. How, how far away were you when like you had to run there? 567. All right, 567. So, you know, way better than half a mile. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the fact that I can't, you know, super jump or anything to get up this thing. I got to run all the way around this darn <laughs> ramp. Because my character can only ninja run. Which, I mean, anyone's allowed to take whatever travel powers they want. No one has to decide. <laughs> I'm sticking with the ninja run. I am in SG5 already. Okay, cool. Sorry, someone's asking me a question. No questions in the One Punch Man challenge. I, I gotta answer a question real fast. It'll take five, five seconds, you know, like when I get a text. The first rule about One Punch Man challenge is you don't answer questions in the One Punch Man challenge. Or, or you do. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. You fell asleep. Um, this is what happens. One punishment challenge is so boring. The character falls asleep. <laughs> All right. We're fighting in a abandoned office building, but an office building nonetheless. I swear, I don't understand why anyone would still live in Paragon City. With this <laughs> many abandoned buildings, you know, I would think, like, property is, like, values are really crappy. Maybe they, like, people stick around in Paragon City because the chances of becoming a superhero are that high. 
I guess. Like, they're like, I'm totally gonna have something happen where I get superpowers. Then I'm gonna leave this place, become a nice superhero somewhere else. Don't let me forget to talk to uh, Siobhan about the permission settings. And actually, if you could talk to her, I've already talked to her three times about it. But the permission settings on the salvage and enhancement tables in her base are not set to anyone can use them because only the leader has permission to change permissions. So <laughs> we need to have her do it because I've told her a couple times how and she just hasn't. So I think she watches your stream, so well, shout yeah. out to you, Siobhan. There you go. If you're watching this, uh, change the permissions. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, like... Ah, crap. Dude, oh, I no. just killed them. You just killed us? Why are these groups so big? Just focus fire, just focus fire. This is this these is what are the, the biggest groups I think I've seen. This though. is what the one punch man challenge is all about. Just focus fire. Stand here and see how long we survive just like being hit like crazy. Cause one punch man he'd just be standing there and everything would be wailing on him, you know? Just killed One Punch Man. You can't kill One Punch Man. He's One Punch Man. Don't forget to use Hasten. Yeah, I got a three minute cooldown right now. Oh no. That means it's probably not. Oh no, it's probably working still. But for how long? We're doing fine so far, I gotta say. I think that we're gonna make it. But this is like literally what the One Punch, Punch Man challenge is right here. <laughs> Just falling into way too many dudes and then somehow you don't die. And you just gotta keep punching. Guy in a hoodie. Guy in a plaid shirt. They both have the same face, but you know. What you gonna do? No, I don't think the other guy had the same face. I'm just being silly. Although it looks like most of them have the same face. It's like me and all seven of my brothers decided we're becoming lost. We all look exactly the same and we used it against the heroes. <laughs> I think we got all the minions. We'll get the guy who's stuck in the wall first. Put him out of his misery. Is he actually stuck? Oh, you know, when I'm that much in a wall, I'm stuck. I would think so too, right? Gotta love physics in this. I have zoned out. Like a yes! Nice! I have zoned out of, like, a, a building, right? Like, we'll leave... Just how we'll leave this place and you show up next to the door. I've zoned out in the door. And I'm just stuck. And I'm just like, what the heck? Like, how do I zone out into a door? <laughs> what happened? May have happened on stream. I I don't remember everything. Oh no, the boss. So we're looking for computers right now. That's what we're looking for. Computers. We got a big. This is a bigger mission. I think we will do this mission, and then after that, we'll, we'll switch to uh, solar and contaminator. Cool. Because you should only do so much of the one punch punch man challenge a day. Also. Playing City of Heroes is fun, and we like doing that, so we want to wanna have some fun. <laughs> yes. How do you I'm, think... I'm, no, go ahead, go ahead, say what you're going to say. No, I was going to say, I'm, I'm really looking forward to a different punch. <laughs> you really, yeah, you really, like, just want a different punch that bad, you think? I don't know. I don't know what it'll do. I don't know... Like, if that... Yeah, I showed you, you know, the other one. I mean, yeah. that one had a pretty long cooldown. I, I, yeah, I couldn't go to that punch because of the cooldown. It would just be us sitting here, and a punch that's got that big a cooldown always has a higher miss rate. Like, that's the thing about our brawl attack, is we do it so much, the, the time you miss is, like, once every, you know, 12 or 13 punches at this point. Yeah, the main advantage I saw to it was the fact that it's a cone range punch, and it'll hit any person within the range. 
Which is awesome. And send them flying, so it's kind of cool. I mean, that is that is perfectly what I think of as the One Punch Man punch. It's, it really does fit it. It's just the problem is, like, have we failed the challenge then if we decide... I mean, I put it in the rules that it's something that you can do, but it has to be, like, beyond, like, there's no other choice. Yeah. Just out of boredom, I was testing uh, my 52 who mm -hmm. just has a regular damage one slot brawl. I was doing that on like level two enemies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 200 uh, damage. 200 damage. Yeah. How do, how do you think that, I mean that like, it's like what, like a 10th or 13th of their health at that point? Well, I was doing it to level two, so it was like insta-death. Insta-death, okay. Yeah, you should have been doing it to like people your level, like at least a level 50 enemy. And just see yeah. how long they take to die. Because they do have, like, well over 200 health. It was actually a little bit of therapy for me after oh, doing okay. this. I was, it, this brawl has got to be able to, you know, one-shot stuff. Something. So, yeah. I was testing my might. Fair enough. That works. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... I really want to make a melee-centric tune now. Because I want to be... Like, after this, playing, like, a tune where I'm just like, bam, 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 and everything goes dead as after I, like, you know, <laughs> like, do two things and I just move on. Like, how you have uh, Dragon Lee, I want to create, like, my own kind of that kind of character. Yeah, you should make a Chuck Norris type character then to go along. Dude, that Dragon would be Lee. perfect. I should do, okay, that's what I'll do, and then will you just play, do some uh, DFE or something with me? Let me make my yeah. tune. All right, cool. I gotta find. I gotta look up the, the classic Chuck Norris look and then the old Chuck, old man Chuck Norris look. That way, I can get you know both going on in there. By the way, the man, the man's movies are brilliant. Just, just I just gotta say, highest class of cinematography. I just love all the Chuck Norris jokes. <laughs> that made him more famous than his movies, by far. Seriously. Though I think Walker Chuck Texas Norris Ranger. Built. The hospital he was born in. <laughs> yes. Chuck Norris isn't afraid of death. Death is afraid of Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris doesn't recognize the periodic table. He only recognizes the element of surprise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you remember, remember remember when our City of the Heroes messages of the day and our personal SG was just Chuck Norris jokes? <laughs> it really was. Every day, I'd put up a new Chuck Norris joke as the message of the day for the SG. I should do that. Uh, the good days. Should do that to positives uh, SG there. To heroes reborn, just <laughs> start posting Chuck Norris jokes. See how many people actually notice. Yeah, I mean, really, I I haven't actually. I changed the SG message of the day so far, like once a week, because it's, like if people got to tell me if I got to know if anything's happening, you know. So like. Yeah that's what I'm just like like I'm like all right well until you know someone's like hey we're doing the next you know I could I could change him to whatever positives plans to stream that night yeah I thought he was doing something tonight on villains oh I do I'd love Could to join wrong. something on villains well I think he was like gonna create a new level one villain and play him a little bit yeah I don't know if the main end is to do like a strength force or what yeah, I mean, they'd be doing DFE. <laughs> it's like the only thing available to you when you when you make a new tune. Either that or running the missions. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so uh, Sugary Brad actually asked a question in the, in the chat. He says, hey there, I watch this and chuckle with you. <laughs> I can't imagine doing this. Where did you get this idea? Um, if you watch the last stream we did before the One Punch Man challenge, randomly through just like our talking and stuff, he actually mentioned One Punch Man and how cool it was. And I was like, yeah, I watched the, the manga, or, you know, watch the manga. I watched the anime. I read the manga. I'm like half, I'm like mostly caught up with the manga. And we were just talking about it. I'm, and I'm just like, hey, what if like you played through all of City of Heroes and you had to use, you know, just like One Punch? And then I was like, you know what, Brawl. You'd have to use Brawl and level up from 1 to 50. 
and be the one punch man challenge. This is what I just I just randomly say and then here we are. We haven't found any computers and I'm worried that we may we must have missed computers. No, they're obviously, you know, underground where there's no electricity. You know, I'm I'm gonna bet we're gonna just oh man, two bosses. <laughs> I don't know if we'll survive this one. Yeah, get on the ground. Well, I'll tell you this, if they start killing you I'm running. Okay. Well, here here's the thing too, is while we're being fighting by bosses, um, do you have a problem with the whole we're not allowed to do task forces and trials and stuff? Like, I feel like we shouldn't be doing anything where there's groups of any kind because we're going to be sitting there doing the One Punch Man challenge and they're going to be like, what the hell? Now that I think of it, the only way that I would feel comfortable doing that is if we had a whole party of people doing the One Punch Man challenge. See, and that's... And we run through a, a task force like that. That's how I want this challenge to end. Like, that, to me, would be the perfect way for the One Punch Man challenge to continue is if more and more people start just showing up and be like, I want to do this, too. Let's do it. And we end up in groups of, like, eight. And uh, so then we're just like, all right, well, now we're one punching. And, like, you know, we're all surrounding one dude the way they're surrounding me and you. And, you know, that'd just be, like, <laughs> the... The ideal to me. Oh Eight man, that's how I want it to end. Yeah. Eight four to punches. the back of the head, four to the face. <laughs> yes. There's no way they survive that. How Maybe do I then okay. we could actually kill something with one punch if like eight punches consecutive. You know? We're being asked, uh, how do you feel about uh, psionic melee on brutes? I haven't tried psionic melee. That's what I'm saying. I, I haven't tried it either, and now I'm wondering, okay, well, maybe if I'm making this melee character next, maybe I should go with uh, psionic melee see how it is. I mean, yeah, you make a character and you do some DFB where he sort of learns how to punch things. You get like a tr couple chances to use your punch every group somehow. I'm always kind of amazed how little I get to hit things in in DFB, how everything just sort of falls down, and you're just like, okay, we did it. I Yay. Know, this is where the computers Aren't are. they all in, like, one room? Like, on the four corners of, like, one room? Usually, yeah. Yeah. With the boss on, like, a corner. Yeah. I hate it when the camera puts me, like, looking at a pole. And I'm like, okay. Like, I, I said in the, the video, like, if it took us over a minute to kill a minion with Brawl, then that's just 100%, like, not possible to continue playing. <laughs> yeah, it's only taken us, uh, you know, 48 seconds. Yeah, no, I think it takes us about 10 to 15 seconds to take down a minion right now. I know, I was being silly. Oh, yeah. Mainly because I'm I'm here looking at this dude trying to wail on me with this massive knife. And I'm wondering, what makes a person want to put a TV set on his head? <laughs> You're not wondering where he puts that thing. <laughs> I, and the fact that he's not the only one in this mission. Like, do they just have a bunch of these TVs with broken glass? sitting around somewhere and like okay here here's your tv you take this one you, if, you know if you want to you know become a lieutenant in the lost you have to wear a tv on your head it's it's one of the I ways if you yeah. Yeah, i mean if you want to become that big dude yeah here's your tire shoulders you know? <laughs> that's how it goes it's like an outfit is psionic melee available in, in, as a scrapper? Is your uh, is your dude a brute or a scrapper? Dragon Which? Lee. Dragon Lee, sorry. Uh, he's a brute, okay. but he's not psionic. He's uh, kinetic. Yeah, and I know that. I was just wondering if... Because I'm like, do I make a brute or a scrapper for this guy? I'm like, eh, I'm not sure which one. And If I'm not mistaken, though, they had that in scrapper, so they made do the same with the uh, psionic. I, I don't know. I haven't checked that pool yet. Quite honest. I haven't played a scrapper in like a really long time, but I'm thinking they have about the same defense capabilities as, as a sentinel would. I know I'll they actually have a... Definitely check. I know supposedly they're supposed to have more higher damage output than, than brutes have to have. 
like brutes show up as like an eight and they show up as like a ten when you if you're looking at the pools and stuff. I don't know how actually how accurate that truly is with the with what's going on with how they actually work. All right, um, that was a nice room, I guess. There's gotta There's be. There's no other link up here to a different room, right? There's gotta be. Huh. Maybe it's on the other side of it. Oh, there's more guys over here. We missed guys over. Well, okay. Wow, you're you're way out of there. All right, hold on. I was looking for another place inside of this place, but you're right. There's more cave to go through. Yeah, go. I'm guessing another part of the cave will lead to another part where the computers. Are. Yeah. I don't know if it takes us what to kill a lieutenant. Yeah, I, that's a uh, sugary bar. Yes, there is so many power sets and so many have been added since I actually played live too. Like I was like shocked at some of the different ones and the, some of the martial arts changes and th yeah, the uh, street fighting, that one. That's why I took the kinetic one because that wasn't there during live when I played. So yeah. I wanted to try that out. How did, how did it work with your uh, Bruce Lee sort of uh, parody? Like how did you feel martial arty with it? Yes and no. I mean, I like the way it looks, um, but it's it's just mainly punches. It's got, like, no kicks to it whatsoever. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, because the martial arts pool has, like, a bunch of different... It's, like, almost all kicks, actually. Martial arts pool? Yeah, the Wait, there's a martial arts pool? Yeah. It That one, I think, must have been old scrapper only if you're... Because, like, I'm like, why didn't you just take martial arts? Oh, oh, I thought you meant, like, a power pool. You mean the regular, um, just like a regular set. Yeah, just a regular set, yeah. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to do martial arts. It yeah, was I'm... too cliche for what I wanted to do. <laughs> you, you didn't want to be a cliche, but you're basically one anyway. Yeah, different kind of cliche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so, uh, Sugar Bart says he hasn't played since, uh, 2006 and I think what year do you think we stopped stopped playing the game really uh, I think like two well, that's difficult for me to answer because I remember quitting for a while and then yeah. coming back a little bit before the servers you know were closed yeah yeah I, we both did James actually showed up too yeah but even then I don't recall ever making a new tune during that time no. when I came back yeah, the, the last time we came back, we just played like War Wizard and Crimson, and you played your other dudes. We didn't. We just sort of messed around with our maxes for a while, but that though that was I think like right at the end. We had a big break from uh, I think 2004 ish. No, no, no. 2006 we took a break for a while, and then 2008 we came back like pretty hardcore and played again with James and. We used uh, X Fire and all that, you know. And Villains was out, so we made some Villains as well. Yeah. Because we hadn't actually played that content. I actually had, when Villains came out, I actually I bought it. I bought the subscription. I played it for a while. I just um, like like it always happens. I played a villain till like level, what, fourteen, fifteen, twenty. Then I just went back to my heroes and played all my heroes again. <laughs> And then eventually I, I I got bored of my hero and I'm like, oh well, and I'm like, I forget, I can just go back and play the villains part. And it's so much, you know, different that it's like more fun, you know, I would have kept playing, but just left my brain. And then you were like, back to World of Warcraft. Yeah, and, and I, I, like, I, I Yeah, I, I played that a lot. Well, that's the thing is, World of Warcraft does this thing where um, between every major release, every, they have like many big releases where they add like a new dungeon or a new thing so it's easy to be like oh man they added that finally like i was waiting for that patch and be like all right i'll play again and then you get sucked in yeah all four com computers are in here as well as the boss i thought yeah the boss on the other side of the room let's see where is he at there he is cdn oh wow you, you played villains exclusively I I don't know anyone who's done that. Yeah, I don't know anyone who's played villains exclusively. Most of the people I knew were people who played 
uh, live with me on Heroes for a long time. So, you know, we all, like, really casually played villains together. Hey, you want to play our villain tunes today, this tonight, or whatever? Yeah, let's do that, you know. Never really anything. You never made it to max level. Yeah, the question might be, are they a pvp -er? Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe Sugary Bard plays the PvP a lot, because I think that's, like, a lot of the villains. They have, they have like, four zones, and they're much smaller than, like, all of Paragon City. And then they can come to some Paragon zones. That's what I was doing when I came back <laughs> towards the end, now that I think of it. You were doing PvP? Victory most of the time, yeah. Yeah, I never really got into the PvP. Yeah. Wow, really? Omega says his uh, first level 50 was a villain. Wow. Yeah, I'm, that's amazing to me. Well, huh. it, I guess it's not too amazing because I think when COV came back, just like we did, mm -hmm. a lot of people either never really knew about the game or jumped on it to try the COV uh, content. Yeah, a lot of people were so like, I, I can play a villain? Yeah, I guess that doesn't surprise me that much. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm terrible at PvP. So bad. Oh, a bubble slash bot mastermind. Yeah, I actually think uh, we actually have more than one of those in the SG. It's a good a good class. All right, let's see if I can get this done before the boss notices me. He's right in front of me, and I'm behind this boss. And I clicked on the computer. Doesn't even see me. All right, run to the next one. Let's see if he sees me. Nope. Oh no, he got me. He saw me. He's psionicing me as we speak. I was like, let's see, I was right behind him, though, and he was like, I don't know, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get away with it. But no, we gotta punch this boss down now, and bosses take us the longest of all the things. This one's falling down a lot, though. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm still slotted with those same ones. You dirty slot. Yeah. Alright, that's <laughs> all four of them. One computer left. All right, come on. There we go. All right, I have leveled. I've almost leveled to the next level. I'm really close. Let's. Uh, yeah, almost level. Let's end with some street fighting. I think. To get the uh, other level. Yeah, because we. I think I'm like I'm less than a bar away. Are you? How close are you? I think I'm like a bar and a half. Bar, yeah. See, that's not too bad. We could uh, could do some simple street hunting be out in the world not turn into a monkey yeah and people will see us and go what the hell is wrong with you man what's wrong with you all right here's some level 16s and we're actually level 14 i think or i'm level 14 for sure oh, yeah all right i have level then i'm actually level 14 okay so I'll we'll hit 15 when we actually level. All right, there's some 13s for us to fight. And go. Oh no, he's got electric powers. This guy's is not. This guy we might not be able to kill. All right, I, I made myself an accuracy. You had to too. <laughs> nice. Reflected. What? Yeah, man. He's a you stone tank. Alright, yeah. So I gotta decide. A good melee, like, quick martial arts. To I'm definitely gonna play a scrapper, I think. I really wanna play something that's, like, just melee damages things real hard. <laughs> cool. I need to feel, like, the opposite of this. Like, my, uh... My brute doesn't cut it as far as that goes, being a uh, dark, dark brute. I still don't know how you run dark. That is so. Uh, um, endurance heavy. Oh, yeah, and I fixed its endurance too. I don't run out of endurance at all anymore. See, but what level are you? 50. Yeah, probably took that long. <laughs> No, it didn't. I was I stopped with endurance problems about level 30, around level 30-ish. All right, so I got to get something called video vidiot maps. Oh, you don't? I thought you did get that. Oh yeah, I, I have it actually, but you'd have to be super zoomed out to see it. 
Yeah, really super zoomed out to see it. I don't think it... Yeah, okay, yeah, and it shows the levels of... And the types of enemies. I just would have to zoom in. Yeah, I just hate that you have to know what hieroglyphics is like. If something is pretty close in name to something else, you could think you're in the right place. Yeah. But you're not. Definitely not. Alright, let's take out all the minions first. I'm just assisting off you. Just... I just leveled, so... Bam, we're, we're, you're gonna level probably. Still got a little group. more than a half bar. You're, you're gonna level this this group for sure. Oh yeah, that guy just gave me a, a bunch. So yeah. yeah, they're lieutenants. Then we will finally have hit level 15. So you know, second stream we've hit an hour now, and it happens. Hey, we hit an hour without even you know thinking. We're not gonna we're not gonna end streaming when we end playing these these tunes. We're just gonna take a break from the One Punch Man challenge. I'm going to make a new martial arts heavy-ish tune and just uh, just go from there. Just try to ooh, ooh. play something that feels like I'm a badass in this same type of combat. Because this, you know, this guy's draining of my soul to play. All I heard was basically that you need a therapy character just like <laughs> yeah. I need a therapy punch. <laughs> yeah. See, we gotta go with your with your dragon Lido at 50 and find a level 50 mob and see how long it takes him to to punch that guy down. All right, these guys are super grateful. Regular, I can see these guys being best friends hanging out. I'm gonna go to the trainer leveling person. Yes, yes that, that leveling person. Yeah, leveling person. It's the new vernacular. I bet you know the name of the leveling person here better than saying the word trainer yeah isn't it valkyrie it's here? valkyrie yes could have been like i'll yep. just go to valkyrie real fast you're like uh leveling person <laughs> perfect i want to sound super cool though you're right all right we have to decide what powers we're taking now now uh, slotting uh, we don't yeah we're taking a new power so we got to decide together we got resist energies well, going on Going along the same thing, tough may not be a bad choice, considering we are going to have to still stand there in between mob. It's an, it's like another... Is it another it. toggle? Yes. Alright, so we'd be adding another toggle to our non-existent use of endurance. So yeah, I've, I've got no problem with having tough. Um, resist energies, uh, um, it'll be great, but not until we fight higher level mobs will even really matter. And then, of course, I have Punch, Haymaker, and Taunt available to me in my super strength, <laughs> non-existent, non-used combat tree there. All right, so tough is the choice, you think? Yeah. All right, going tough. And then train to the next level. And we, we slot differently, so you can slot whatever you want, however you want. All right, now if only there was somewhere to buy, buy enhancements from here that didn't have to be like oh what type of character are you um you a mutant you can't come in my store i'm just for magic people no he's 634 yards away next to the tram for just store what did you choose it by the way as you're like your what your type like i'm a natural tank What did I take? Oh, so I have to go to the natural store. Oh yeah, I took natural too. Then we must run to the same store. It's six, seven hundred yards away. But yeah, we're not gonna um, keep doing the One Punch Man challenge for another hour like we've been doing. Because we've been playing it for like two hours straight every time. And I think reducing it to an hour and actually playing something fun too might be uh might be helpful to our brains and by the way anyone who wants to come do the one punch man challenge with us we would love to have more people using just brawl and whacking at things yeah then it might become a little more fun because then we're not spending a <laughs> you know three weeks killing one yeah <laughs> And they'd be welcome to join us in, in chat, too, if you're doing the One Punch Man challenge, for sure. Not that we're, like, anti-having 
people who want to be in, ch you know, chat showing up, they are welcome. All right, what are you putting on tough? Or is it just another, yeah, damage resistance? Resist damage. My Mako's bite sitting there being wasted. Worthless. All right, tough did not. Oh, there it is. It's on there. All right, another toggle. Here we go. Yeah, and now I'm toughing. All right, we've done it. Yeah, Omega, dude. Definitely. Let me know for sure. Hopefully, tomorrow I don't have, like, my wife having some surprise something that I have to do. And then we have Thunderstorm. And uh, they decide to... The powers that be decide that I shouldn't have electricity for the weekend like two weeks ago. But, uh, yeah, anyone who contact me, if you want to do the One Punch Man Challenge, I will hop in on One Punch Mech and join you, and I will stream it. Because One Punch Man Challenge is all about bringing people together. Like I said in the video I made, you cannot do the One Punch Man Challenge alone. You have to be leveling with another person doing the One Punch Man Challenge. Because, I mean, if you do the One Punch Man Challenge alone, nobody knows if you're following the rules of the One Punch Man Challenge. You can just go in DFB and be like, haha, I'll let everyone else level me to level 30, you know. Or have your friend just farm you up and be like, look, I hit 50, you know. I hit 50 before you, Solar. It's like, well, that's what I wanted people to do is try, but you hurt my feelings. All right, I'm 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 good, man. I'm, I'm set up. Um... Well, can I take uh, something out of One Punch Mech savings and loan? Oh, would you like some money? <laughs> yeah, I'll pay you back on one of my other oh. tunes. I All just right. keep forgetting to do what you did. Alright, I think I sent myself more cash. Yeah, I have 9.5 million right now available in there. All right. Head over to me. I'll, I'm out outside the door. I'll give you what I got. Which is almost a million. I got 900,000 I can hand you, which you'll be fine. Come on, trade window. I hit you like nine times. Why isn't... Oh, I gotta put the influence thing down there. I'm, like, trying to hit the text at the top. <laughs> All right. There we go. It's like, you sure? Thank Are you, you sure? Sir. Are you sure? I'll hit you back yeah. up on one of my other Oh, no worries. Haymaker Harry sounds like fun. <laughs> Flailing Frankie. Because a Lannister always <laughs> pays his debts. Slapstick Sally. That's great. All right. So, I'm about to make a, uh, a scrapper tune. Uh, he's going to be Chuck Norris themed, and I'm wondering what power sets do you think I should take to fit that right? I'm curious what... Uh, see, we're probably going to have to see what there is now, because like, right. like you mentioned, I haven't looked through. Alright, I'll, I'll quit the character select, and I'll take a look and tell you. And I'm going to um, do like a quick stop restart the stream kind of thing, so that the 